from Florida to North Carolina, residents here at home are preparing for potential severe weather. As well as officials, let's turn things over now to our Chris Peterson, who is live down in Brightsville Beach this morning. So, Chris, what is it looking like at this hour, and how are these emergency management officials preparing? Jackie, things are looking pretty good right now. It is humid outside, uh, but New Hanover County emergency management officials tell me they're prepared for Idalia. They've partially activated the emergency operations center and they're monitoring the storm as it approaches. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, this is the unofficial end of summer. It's Labor Day week. And there are plenty of vacationers in town. Now, lifeguards are warning people that are out on the beach about the strong rip currents, but surfers and fishermen that we spoke to say that this is paradise. Surfers tell me that Hurricane Franklin, which is uh, out in the Atlantic, is churning up some big waves, and they expect Idalia to do the same thing. Local fishermen like Colin Davis say that uh, the storm will kill off crustaceans and stir up some red drum and pompano, which will make for some great fishing. And even first time fishermen like this little guy who caught himself a puffer fish and then threw it back in the water are having a fun time fishing out here on Johnny Mercer's pier. Uh, but overall, surfers and fishermen tell me that they're not overly concerned and that they're just ready to have fun in it. Surfers dream out there during the storm, you know, hurricane parties, beers and waves. That's all you can ask for. You don't have a problem with the storm coming in? No, not at all. I'll probably fish through it if, if I, uh, can. As long as it's not too bad, I'll do my best to be out here. I had a fisherman once tell me uh, we were up in Nags Head and he said the fish don't know it's raining. No, absolutely not. The fish are already wet. <laughs> That's right. The fish are already wet and by this time tomorrow we will be too. Jackie, Audrey. Well, Chris, you also spoke with law enforcement. Did you hear if any evacuations are expected? So we did speak with Wrightsville Beach Police Chief David Squires, and he tells me that right now they don't believe they're going to need to evacuate anyone. He's telling vacationers that are in town that the weather's going to be bad for about 24 hours or so, but then after that, the storm is just going to clear everything out. We'll have beautiful blue skies, and it should be a wonderful Labor Day weekend.